Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So that's all about gibberellins. Now we will talk about the third plant hormone that is cytokinins. So, so let us see how were cytokinins discovered and why are they called cytokinins. Now the term cytokinins is derived from the word cytokinesis and cytokinesis means cell division. Cyto means cell, kinesis. Kinesis is from the word kinetic that is movement. So altogether cytokinesis means cell division. So cytokinins has to do something with cell division. Basically they promote cell division. Now. How it was discovered was that uh, scientists were trying to grow tissues in vitro to generate a whole plant but that was not becoming possible. Now they tried many different things, they added all the minerals and everything so somehow they could grow some tissues but those tissues lasted only for some time and then they finally could not get a plant. So the tissues had to survive for a longer time so that it can actually give rise to a plant, right? But that never happened. But then finally it was observed that other than the components like the minerals and the vitamins which are needed for plant growth, they added another component which actually helped in regenerating the entire plant. And what was that additional component? That additional component was coconut milk. So coconut milk was that additional component which helped in generating the whole plant. So, and then later it was found that the magic ingredient of the coconut milk was nothing but uh, another growth promoting hormone which is which actually promotes cell division. So Fox Coog was the scientist who identified for the first time cytokinesis promoting substance and he named it kinetin at that time but then later it was known as cytokinins. So this happened, this Fox Coog's incident happened not long time back, it happened somewhere around 2000. So this is how cytokinin was discovered. So cytokinin was basically another plant uh, growth promoting hormone which is required along with auxin for the growth of the plant. So auxin alone also could not in this uh, tissue uh, culture, uh, auxin was already present but still the whole plant could not be regenerated. So the plant could be generated only when cytokinin was also added along with auxin. Okay, so now what are cytokinins? Now they are growth promoting plant, plant hormone, both naturally occurring as well as synthetic cytokinins exist. If you talk about naturally occurring cytokinin, an example would be zeatin. So zeatin is a naturally occurring cytokinin which whose structure looks somewhat like this. So if you talk about the synthetic cytokinins, an example would be BAP. BAP. What is BAP? It is 6 benzyl amino purine. That is 6 benzyl amino purine. So, this is a synthetic cytokinin. So, whenever I say synthetic, that means it is artificially prepared. So, the natural cytokinins, for example, zeatin, they are synthesized in those regions where rapid cell division occurs. Now, can you think of some of the regions in a plant where rapid cell division occurs? Exactly, the apical regions, the root apex, or in the young fruits, which uh, where fast cell division occurs and the fruit actually become, grows bigger in size and it matures. So, these are some of the regions where a lot of cytokinins are synthesized. Now let us discuss the role which they play. Of course, they promote cell division and that is why they are known as cytokinins. They promote lateral shoot growth. So if you see, that is why they complement auxin because auxin helps to promote the vertical growth. But when you talk about the overall growth of a plant, you not only talk about the vertical growth, but the lateral growth as well. You don't not only want the plant to grow this way, you also want it to grow this way also. Now, as we saw, auxins promote the vertical growth alone. It doesn't promote the lateral growth. So cytokinins promote the lateral 
lateral growth and that is why auxin and cytokinin together can give a very good growth to the plant. So cytokinins can overcome apical dominance. So auxins cause apical dominance because of auxins apical dominance phenomenon is seen. And cytokinin is a solution to apical dominance. So if both of them are present in the right amount, then I mean the overall growth can be taken care of. It helps to over apical dominance, delay senescence. So this also helps to delay the aging in plants. Now how it delays aging is that it helps to transport nutrients properly to different parts of the plant. Now when a particular part of the plant is receiving a lot of nutrients, it stays healthy and it, its uh, aging can be delayed. So it regulates the transport of nutrients. So that way cytokinin also plays important roles in the growth of a plant. So with this, I think we have covered all the growth promoting hormones that is auxin, gibberellins and cytokines. So thinking of auxin, it is primarily required for vertical growth of the plant. When you talk about cytokine, it is primarily required for the lateral growth of the plant. When you talk about gibberellin, it is primarily used for stem elongation, delay and uh, delay in aging. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.